Hello. Hola. My name is Miss Tina from the Downtown Reno Library. Welcome to a special early reader feature in honor of El Día de los Niños y El Día de los Libros, Children's Day and Book Day. This day is commonly known as Día. Día is a nationally recognized initiative that emphasizes the importance of literacy for all children from all backgrounds. It is a daily commitment to linking children and their families to diverse books, languages, cultures, and its annual culmination is on April 30th. So in honor of Dia, I'm going to share with you three different toy crafts you can make with your children. Children need plenty of opportunities to play and use their imaginations. Toys are essential to children. These toy crafting projects will help your children learn how to follow directions, gain satisfaction in completing a project, and most importantly, have fun and play. First up, we have the cup and ball toy. Known as Balero in Mexico, the main goal of this game is to get the ball into the cup. While the concept seems very easy, mastering this toy is not so simple. Ooh, beginner's luck. This toy will challenge and develop your child's hand-eye coordination as well as their patience. Oh, two in a row, let's go. Three. I've been practicing. <laughs> In the words of DJ Lance Rock, keep trying and don't give up. You'll definitely get it right. And as you can see, my practicing has worked out very well for me. A whirly gig is a toy that spins or whirls. For example, a pinwheel, a top, and yo-yos are whirly gigs. In fact, a yo-yo was called a whirly gig before it got its name, yo-yo. In the golden olden days of the United States, this toy was made out of a coin or a button and a piece of string for tiny fingers and tiny hands. This activity is perfect for developing fine motor skills, which are essential for developing hand finger grip and coordination for coloring and cutting, for example. Let's get it whirling. Oh, 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 oh. And not quite. Let's try again. That's what we want. And go! Brilliant. And finally, we have the corner body kite. It's a carp kite. The carp kite represents the colorful ornamental koi freshwater carps. The flag is shaped like a fish with its mouth attached to the pole and its tail fluttering free in the wind. The koi is regarded as a symbol of strength, energy, and courage. Konobori are flown in honor of Kodomo no Hi or Children's Day, which is on May 5th. I encourage all family members to create a Konobori kite together. If you're interested in more play ideas and activities to do at home, check out Vroom on our website. Vroom helps you do more with your shared moments. Add learning to meal time, bath time, bedtime, anytime with over a thousand fun and free activities. Boost your learning from birth to age five. This Vroom app is free and available for both Android and iOS. Up next is our book. A great series to introduce your early reader to is the Yasmin Books by Sadia Faruqi and illustrated by Hatem Ali. Yasmin is an inquisitive Muslim girl who has a lot of fun taking on roles like 
zookeeper, scientist, and librarian. The books introduce readers to some Urdu vocabulary as well as some aspects of everyday Muslim life in America. We hope you all have a moment to check them out. Go to our website, washoecountylibrary.us. Thank you so much for joining me today. Take care, everyone. Adios. Por le bien. Ciao. Bye, friends. Take care.